Okay, so now in this video, you're going to be probably wondering what the hell's going on. Because like, in one shot, you're going to see something fitted. And in another shot, it won't be fitted. It's just because I've jumbled the videos up a bit from the starting process to the process where I am now. So don't worry because it will all make sense, but I must say if you're a new visitor you'll be wondering what the hell's going on. But don't worry because I've been doing this bike since November and I still haven't got a clue what's going on. Welcome back to Johnny's Confusing XJ. Anyway, my battery has gone. Dead. So, uh, I can stick that on charge and uh, get my exhaust silencers on, can't I? No. Uh, hold on a minute. Now, what am I talking about? I've got a jump pack, haven't I? I can jump start it with my booster pack. Try and get some petrol into it. <laughs> Try and get some petrol into it. Oh my god. I can't believe that I'm going to start this motorbike any minute. Well, hopefully going to start this motorbike. Oh my god. You don't know how emotional I'm feeling at this moment. I've got to get some petrol out the uh, CBR and get it into them carburetors and pray 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 it starts up and everything's fine oh my god I can't hold my excitement Literally shaking what is about to happen. Oh my god. Oh I didn't do it, I didn't. I can't do it. Shit. Moment of truth. Oh my god. Shall I press it? Shall I press it or shall I leave it till next week? <laughs> Fuck you now. What was that? That sounded a bit like cam chain, didn't it? The exhaust is blowing.
getting a bit too smoky in here, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. I'm so excited. Blowing on one of the front ports. Whatever the gasket slipped or it just needs a bit more tightening. Oh my god, it's alive. It lives. It lives, I tell you. Oh shit. Oh my god. Can a grown man cry over a motorcycle? I think I did. I think it's been a long emotional journey with this motorcycle. As you all know. Okay then, so I thought it was uh, blowing from the manifold there. That horrible farting, flapping sound you could hear. But it turns out it's blowing from these pipes here. I've got them on best I can, but it's still farting out of these. I don't know why, but when they're on there, this doesn't seem level. See, so pulled right over here. So I'm not sure what's going off. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm uh, going to take these off completely and see if I can get them on as far as possible. Oh yes, yeah, so we've got it off. And if you look in there, see down there, one of these prong things are bent right inside. So that's why it's not sealing properly. So if I can straighten that out, we should be good to go. So that sounds better, but... This side is doing it as well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Smoking. <laughs> Baby. Good golly, Miss Molly. So, as you just seen, it sounds pretty awesome. First time I did start it, this is a different day to that day. Every time I tried to throttle it, it just went bleh and died. So that's why I went out on the bike to buy some new Jubilee clips. Because I'm just using old stuff I'd found in the shed just to try and get it going. And they were obviously leaking. They were leaking first, then they were leaking as well. So hopefully we're good to go. Just got to try and clean the rusty petrol tank out somehow. So I've got to come up with an idea for that. And I am still over the moon, baby. You ever see the dog so daft?
Yeah, yes, so yes, we're not out of the uh, water yet. Carburetors are leaking and it's a bit of a flat spot when you rev it up. You know, it's a bit of a non response when you first rev it. So that means we'll take the carburetors off again. But it does sound nice when it revs up, doesn't it? It's pretty good. Just some more fettling. Now I'm at the end of the project, I'm getting all the subscribers. Can you believe that? So we've still got uh, Big Burfer over there under the green tent. So when this is done, that's gone, and then that's done. So TBR will be going up for sale soon. Then I've got to start that CBR, some sort of street fighter, or I could go the easy route and just make uh, what they're called. Cool. What are they called? You know what I mean, anyway. They paint them matte black and stick all army stuff and stuff all over them. Rat bike. Is it a rat bike? Yeah, rat bike. I could take the easy route and make a rat bike, but uh, I'm not too sure. I'll, what I would like to do is some sort of street fighter and do it in the Repsol colours. That orange and blue and red and wherever it is, white. That's what I would like to do, and I'd like to do try and do a proper job with rattle cans. Get some two pack. Uh, clear lacquer, you know, with the ordner in it. It's like a normal spray can, but it's got a button on the top, and you press it, and it releases the ordner into the paint. A bit like body filler ordner. So when you spray it on, it has an extra tough finish, and it is petrol resistant. So that's what I want to do with that when this is done. So, yeah. Soft little baby. So I've just heard that these bikes are called uh, Divis. <coughs> Call them Divi for short. So this is a Divi and I am a Divia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's the best video I've ever made. Been, yes, it's definitely been a long hard slog and horrible things in between. You know what I mean. So thanks for your company. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up. I need all the thumbs up I can get. My videos are slowly getting pushed to the forward of the YouTube queue. See you next week. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A moped engine. And he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with an old piece of rug and the smell and the sound changed my life forever. I see you in another life, brother.